Hi and welcome to the Digital Job Site where this session is about using the digital tools and features of SketchUp to um, figure a tile layout and tile quantities for a flooring job. So uh, what you see here is uh, the floor layout. This is a project I did recently and uh, consisted of a master bathroom which is this space shape here and this is a uh, foyer and kitchen area. And um, all I did um, to get started with this was took a pencil and paper, went around the space and measured the wall distances and then um, the various um, cabinets, etc. that are in the area. And just for an overview, um, this is a front door to the residence, um, entry closet, there's a door from the garage here. Uh, this curved line um, separates what's going to be the tiled area from the carpeted area. This is the kitchen proper. Uh, the bank blank spaces here are covered by the cabinets. Um, and then there's three uh, notch outs or tabs here. This one's the range and the dishwasher and the refrigerator. One of those areas to be tiled underneath the appliances and then um, this is the master bath area, uh, the vanities here, stools here, there's a door on this side and a door on that side. That's just a quick overview and um, drawing and laying out these um, floor plan areas is pretty straightforward uh, with the exception of possibly drawing a curve. Uh, if any, any of you know, um, for instance, if I was going to draw this curve area here, I might start out by replicating this little notch for the wall and then grab the arc tool and start to draw a curve. It can do weird things. It doesn't know which plane you want it to go in and it starts to do wacky things. And um, so I recommend um, using my drawing plane method by just drawing a flat, um, a flat rectangle, arbitrary size. And if you know the dimensions on this particular job, I knew the distance from the end of this wall to the tangent point of the curve and uh, a few other overall parameters for that r radius. So I laid those dimensions out using guidelines uh, for various things. And um, just a quick set of examples here, uh, how to draw a kind of a compound reversing curve. By using a drawing plane, all these arcs will stick on to that plane um, and on this arc I just decided that it reverses curve about midway between two points and so by drawing a guideline um, with the protractor tool I can get kind of a, a line to go by there and uh, you can see this curve is turning out dramatically different from the one I laid out on the drawing, but the principle is the same um, to get uh, the curved area of that. We just erase away all this stuff um, and if that was the curve you were looking for then that can be moved around um, or set as a group or whatever uh, makes sense, but the message there is when you're trying to draw a curve on a flat plane, draw a flat plane to um, or create a flat plane to draw it on in the first place that make your life a lot easier. Anyways, um, I'll just delete this example and um, then describe this process. Once, once I have uh, a very close uh, approximation of the area that's going to be floor tiled, I grouped all that geometry so that when I'm drawing tiles it doesn't affect it. Uh, in this case, um, I picked out a tile that's 13 inches square, and so uh, I'll just draw that tile. And um, a couple of handy things here. Uh, I'm going to make this a component in case I want to consider using a number of different styles or shapes of tile. Um, I can create a component for each different style and um, play around with them on the layout and just see how everything looks and fits. Um, and I'm going to say with grout here. So 
so that we can create uh, the right spacing for the tile. Now that we've got a tile component, I'll double click into the edit mode and um, select the perimeter of that with a double click and then I'm going to draw an offset of 1 16th of an inch um, which, will, which would be uh, what I need for an 8th inch grout joint and um, I'm going to reverse these faces because I like working with the, the white look to it. Um, anyway, so there's a 13 by 13 tile component and um, with those steps, um, I'll break off this video and then do the layout work in another section.